In this video, we're going to be looking at a curate function in JavaScript. So curate functions are functions that take their arguments and one step at a time. So let me show you how that looks like. So on my desktop, I'm, let's just go to desktop in here. I'm going to create a folder. I'm just going to call this a curry example. And I'm going to go to that folder. So in here, I'm going to create a file called the main.js and open this file. OK, so let's start by a basic function. So for this example, I'm going to use an add function. So var add equals function. And this function is going to take two parameters, a and b. And all we're going to do is plusing them together. So a plus b. That's all we're going to do. So this is a basic function. This is not queried yet. So we're going to turn this uh, into a queried function. So in order to do that, we need to create a function that returns another function. That might sound a little bit crazy, but it's possible. So we're going to create a function. So function that returns another function. OK, so I'm just going to do add c. Add c is a function. And this function is going to return another function. So I'm just returning another function. And the last function, in this case, uh, this inner function, is going to return the result of adding the two parameters. So in this case, a and b. We haven't provided them. So let's do that. We're going to pass the first parameter to this uh, first function, a. And then we're going to pass the second parameter to the second function, the inner function, b. So in here, uh, because this inner function is uh, creating a closure, it has access to the parameters that are passed in, in this case, a. So it has access to that. And also, it has access to b. So when you do return a plus b, it knows how to get these values, uh, these parameters that are passed in. So let's uh, create a variable. So let's say sum, sum1, is the result of calling the first uh, function add 1 comma 2 so we expect to get 3 out of this and calling the other function is a little bit different because when you call the fur function for the first time it's going to return another function so let's say add 1 is I'm going to call uh, the second function with the parameter 1 so when I call this uh, function which is this one when I call that it is going to return this inner function and it's going to pass in this one to the outer function. So this is going to be a function. So when we do type of uh, type of add one, it will tell us that it is a function. So then we can call this add one on uh, two. So this will eventually return three. And we can log these to confirm that these are actually working. So console log sum one and console log add um, so let's assign this final sum because we want to log, log that uh, final sum and as you can see both of them um, are three now as a shortcut you can just do uh, this so instead of having these two lines I can just do uh, my sum is add one two and this should return the same uh, result. So if I comment out this part, I just have sum1, my sum, and the result is the same. Now you can uh, express this in terms of um, arrow functions. So let's just get rid of these functions and make them a little bit simpler to read. Let me just get rid of all these comments. And here, I can get rid of this function, function, function. And after these parentheses, we replace them by arrow functions. So this is some ES6 stuff, or ES 2015. And here, I can replace all this by A plus B, because that is inferred. That is going to be the return value. And I'm going to return, you know, replace all the vars with const, because they're not going to change. And also here, we can do something interesting. So a, we can get rid of these. A uh, returns another function that takes b. And b here, we'll just do a plus b. We don't need all the rest of this. 
all that gone. And I need to set my node to five so I can use the latest uh, node and all that. So if I run this, I get an error. Okay, so let's see what the problem is. A plus B, so I forgot to add the second arrow and that will return three 